In this tutorial, we're going to uh, model this kind of chair that has these bubbles. Uh, we will be using a little bit of grasshopper to populate and to create all these spheres on the surface. And then we'll just create uh, the outer edge of the, of the chair. So let's start. So first we'll create a surface, simple surface in, uh, in these planes, and then we're going to uh, we're going to start uh, building from that one surface and uh, creating our shape for the armchair. Okay, so once I have the, the the geometry for the base, I'm going to convert this to a rhino, uh, rhino geometry. And now let's uh, let's create the the positions for the bubbles. So I, in order to do this, I'm going to first uh, divide uh, divide this length and make it. Let's see something around. 13 for example then I'm going to extend these lines here and I actually need uh, all of this to create uh, to create lines on this surface so I'm going to extend this and then I'm going to type intersect so that I get the lines from from this geometry so here are my lines and this will be the positions of uh, of the bubbles, the balls. And now let's. Th this is just like in one direction, and I can see in the reference image that we will need a couple of more here. So I'm just going to uh, I'm going to also split uh, this in horizontal as well. So well, let's see. somewhere around there so I'm actually eyeballing this I'm, I'm not going to make it exactly in the same distance because it's uh, it's not so relevant so now I'm going to intersect this again and get my lines so now I have these lines uh, that I will use to populate this area and I have these ones for the rest. So now I'm just going to actually select every, every second one and I'm going to divide it into let's say 15 segments and I'm going to select these other ones and divide them in and let's try 11 okay 11 seems as a better choice so now I'm going to divide up these ones as well but I'm going to actually isolate them because I will not need all the segments let's go with more something like this let's go one more yeah so this will be all, all right so i'm going to delete these ones because i already have these positions and this will be the location of the bubbles uh, now i will re reveal everything i don't need this on top and now yeah let's see so as you can see in this area we're going to have uh access amount of balls so we don't want these ones okay so now 
Uh, now let's uh, let's go to Grasshopper and basically this is the definition it's quite simple you just have a sphere and you have a radius of the sphere and you have the points which will be the centers of the sphere so in this case we just want to um, we just want to select all the, the points and we want to say select multiple points and here we go we have our geometry now we can play for example here with the radius of the of the spheres we can make them smaller or bigger but given the reference image i think something around like this should be enough 1.5 and let's say that this is it so now i'm going to bake this and I'm going to group it and you will see that my geometry in Rhino has been transformed so I have all these bubbles now I'm going to close Grasshopper and I'm going to uh, continue with, with uh, designing uh, the chair so now we, we need the outer edge as well first I'm going to hide this and I'm going to delete everything else because I don't need anymore. Okay. So now uh, let's see. I actually want to fill it these corners nicely. So I'm going to use this command here to have very nice fillets. Something like this. And I'm going to mirror this on the other side. And I'm just going to trim. I'm going to trim the the x geometry there and there so i have my fillets there and on the bottom i'll leave it for now like this and let's continue so i'm actually going to use this edge i'm going to type duplicate border and i'm going to explode it i'm going to hide this and i'm going to delete this part because i don't need so this this is one of my uh one of my sides i'm going to actually actually i'm going to explode this back and i'm going to let's see if it's equally distributed uh yes it is so i'm going to actually mirror this on the bottom and see see the result i'm going to get I'm going to do it like this and then uh, flip it so I'm going 180 here something like this and I'm going to uh, do this of course in this part but <clears throat> in order to get this fillet I need to, to actually I'll copy this as well and then um, I need to do the same exact thing. So I'm going to flip it and go like this, and then move these guys here. I'm going to the side view, and oh, let's see. So this is the the place where i can actually cut it so i want to make sure that i'm yeah okay so i'm going to i'm going to trim this area so that i can resize it as i want like so uh then i'm just going to reveal uh this geometry to know the position if this is okay all right so we i'm just gonna mark here this part and then i'm going to go to the side view again and oh now i know that the bottom should be around here somewhere 
So yeah, I can just connect these two. It's fine. Yeah. So I'm going to now try to join everything. See if it's going to work. Let's join. Yeah, it works. Okay. So the next thing is to actually uh, build this. So uh, this is how we're going to do it. We're going to create a copy of this. Uh, we're going to hide this first for now. And we're going to use uh, set points to move everything on the bottom, like so. I'm going to explode this. And I'm going to say select duplicate, delete lines so i'm going to delete some of them because they're overlapping okay so this seems to be fine okay so now i have and uh, have the base and what I want to do is I want to now use this line and I'm going to actually create a couple of more of these lines here. Like so. Okay, so now uh, and I'm going to split I'm going to split um, this part with these lines. So now we have these areas here. We're going to use sweep two. Sweep two. Going to use this rail and this rail and cross section here. Enter. Now I have this part there. And the rest will be easy. I'm going to delete all of this. I'm going to join it, join this and this. And let's planner surface it and get these guys here. Let's show you everything. Okay, so once we have that, we can offset this surface a bit on the inside. Let's see if this amount is fine. It is. And uh, let's create a small, uh, let's create a small, uh, small fillet here. Fillet edge. So, Mm, let's just select everything around and this one as well okay this is nicer let's say that you're happy with that and now let's adjust our geometry here so what we can do is actually ungroup all of this let's delete these guys uh, we can also delete the bottom ones or actually hmm, maybe even keep them but put them inside like so delete this surface okay and I'm just going to actually extend this a bit. Um, let's extend it. Something like this. Uh, and or maybe we can actually just play around a little bit with this positioning we can just see like if 
if we like this how it looks or if you want to change it a little bit we can do so but in general I'm happy with with how it turned out so that would be our that would be our chair uh, now I'm going to render it and show you the result here is the final rendering hope that you like it if you have any questions comments or suggestions please write them down in the comment section below this video and uh, if you like this kind of tutorials please like and share and make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video.